This will be the first video on the topic, check it out. This will be a short video introducing new bands to the metal listeners and the rock listeners. Today I have with me a new metal band. It's called Born Rebel. And I have with me Tim Oliver Lindenberg and Marcus Vassiliou. They will be there introducing us to the band, to the music they, they have produced and what's coming next for the future. So first, hello, Tim. Hello, Marcus. How are you hey. doing? Uh, let me start right from the beginning. So tell me, uh, Tim, how did you form the band and what was the goal? Well, uh, I started like I, I wrote these songs in the beginning and recorded them uh, in my home studio. And um, after that, I searched uh, for cool dudes to, to join the band and uh, to make it progress. And um, yeah, and then uh, after another, yeah, I, I put like notices on, on eBay, Kleinanzeigen and on Facebook. There's a musician group there. And after that, um, yeah, the people joined. And um, the curious thing about uh, Markus is that he actually wanted to put up a, a new metal band for its own. Uh, for, you know? um, and um, then he saw my notice and then he joined my band. So <laughs> that was kind of funny. Okay, that, that's an interesting fact. So there, there was both of you had kind of a goal to have the new metal album. And you found each other and Marcus was in, Ber in Berlin at the same time. So just right, same place, same time, same goal. Same goal. That's, that's, an, that's an interesting thing. So, and, and when did Marcus join the band? Well, first, you want to talk? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I think I joined in August, August, somewhere in the end of summer. Okay. The thing is, um, as as Tim said, um, I was searching for people to make a new band too, and then I just found their post and I I applied. I went to the audition. It all worked out well, and then I became the drummer of the band. So then I had to say to the other people, "Sorry, I have to break this band again because honestly, I joined a band." And, okay. and the cool thing is that uh, I met. A really nice bass player back doing the other band who also joined born a rebel and is now ben our bass player too okay so th that's that's interesting so you kind of formed the band yourself and then brought someone with you so two people from one project of a band and two people from the other band that was already on on the track and now yeah, you're together true. on the same that's goal. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So I, I have another question for you. So we didn't yet show any of your music to the listeners. We will do that next. But first, let me ask you. So you are making in 2020 new metal music. So we know that was a big, very big thing in the beginning of the thousands. And it reached very big peaks in 2003 and four. Why in 2020 new metal? Well, the, the, the music style is not new, right? But uh, it's like um, that, you know, it's, it's still a great music style, you know? And it actually, it's, it's a fusion style. It's a crossover style. So I really like bands, you know, pretty much. Uh, also in the past, you know, when, you know, they, they, they brought, you know, different kinds of styles of music together. And this is, um, this is what new metal is all about, or crossover music. And... I really like um, when, when, you know, rap and metal and hard rock music are combined and especially if there is a political rap, you know, because that, you know, it's, it has more power than, than the usual music. That's what I think. And our lyrics are political. And so, it, you know, it, it's really awesome. Um, and on the other hand, um, you know, if you're, if you're speaking of, of metal bands or rock bands right now, we um, all having a, a hard time actually, but not because of Corona only, but but because um, you know, like um, Britpop and 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 rap, um, you know, are the are the main music styles right now uh, on the streaming services, and and uh, that's what the what the label bosses are telling you too. So uh, our goal is that we um, that we make it big again, and um, that. Uh, you know that it's like like a fashion you know becoming uh or getting a new comeback i see so i actually wanted to ask that which is connected so i noticed sometimes also being living in germany myself and sometimes visiting berlin 
it seems that Berlin always has its own kind of music trend or a music style that's running more than other places. So what kind of music you could, we would say is like the most concerts happening in Berlin? Maybe not too much in the late last you know, year, but what was the music genre that's most common in Berlin lately when it comes to rock and metal? Do you... When it comes to rock and metal, um, yeah. there is actually a, a really cool metal community here. But, mm -hmm. but what you, you hear people going to is mostly techno, rave, DJ parties. That's the, the next thing. Since okay. years, Berlin has been known as the electronic city of Germany or maybe the world, who knows. So, but, but still, there is a really huge metal community and lots of good bands from here. But in new mm -hmm. metal, unfortunately, I, I personally don't know another new metal band. And uh, yeah, and also in music, there's a lot of live musicians, like a lot of people who play really, really good technically music and they're, they're good at jazz, funk, blues, uh, uh, folk, whatever. Even there's Schlager music. I know, I think you know what Schlager music is. Yeah, I'm familiar with and, it. <laughs> but, but mostly it's like electronic over I here. See. So, but of course, most of that music doesn't carry too much of a message with it, right? It's just about sometimes enjoying your time, having fun. But what you do in your music and your lyrics, there's a lot of political messages, political topics uh, about surveillance, about capitalism. Uh, what kind of messages you try to, to, to convey through your tracks? Well, actually, even if you speak right now, you know, there are a lot of conflicts in the world going on and uh, we want to, um, it's, it's mostly about some, some kind of regimes, you know, you know, actually trying to, you know, um, suppress people and uh, that they cannot speak their minds and stuff. So actually these, these, these problems we address with our lyrics, within our lyrics and um, yeah, we, I don't know. On, on a band web page you can can read you know these 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 things you know like you know being you know against mass surveillance state terror greed driven warfare whatever um and yeah but um we also want to want to make clear and, and you know have the bottom line that um that all that matters is um yeah the power of the people you know uh one song of us is is, is uh you know uh has you know carries this title and um, so if you are suppressed, you have to, you have to stand up for your rights. And that's what we're saying. That's, this is what Bono, Bono Rebel stands for. Yeah, I see. So you mentioned that you have one of your inspiration, Rage Against the Machine, as one of the, like a kind of inspiration for your lyrics. And I know how much that the, the, their music carries as messaging and what was happening in the 90s and the fear of what the surveillance and the state system will become is now more and more of a threat. And now it's like, again, the time for more of that kind of, a, you know, topics to discuss and to maybe give some awareness or, or, you know, remind the people that are being surveyed and that, that, you know, the governments know where they go and what they're doing. And that's too much interfa uh, intervention in their daily lives. Right. It actually it, it became worse. That's what I think, you know, there are more conflicts, um, you know, more regimes, you know, taking over people. And uh, we got the protests right now in, 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 in Belarus and Lebanon, Guatemala, Thailand, you know, Turkey, everywhere. yeah, everywhere, Palestine, you know, so, yeah. So, so I think it's it's a good time, you know, for for a band like this and um, to address these topics. So I'm going to ask Marcus then. So Marcus, you were living in Lebanon and you were a musician, a professional musician in Lebanon. Uh, you were playing with different bands, playing some live events, playing some private sessions or whatever and recording. Uh, why did you decide to leave Lebanon and move to, to well, Berlin? Well, actually, I go back to your question before, politics. 
Yeah. And this is mainly why, because the politics over there is kind of crazy and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And other than that, it's a very stressful place to live in and mm -hmm. you get too much headaches uh, from things you don't want in your life. For example, uh, the electricity cut-in in the middle of you practicing, then you have to go up, change the thing and come down and get back to practice. As in, in other places in the world, this doesn't happen. So this does not waste your time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just one minor thing. There's much other things you can keep talking about. We can spend hours talking about this topic, why I left, but it's mostly, mostly searching for a better life because um, before what happened in 2019 and 20 in Lebanon, it, which became worse in these years after the explosion and after the, 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 the fall of the financial situation, etc., etc., it was even not a really easy place to live. It was really hard to make a living, hard to, 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 to satisfy yourself as a human being. Really deep down inside, you're like, what am I still doing here, you know? It's just a very small piece of land with, with a lot of trouble and a lot of uh, different uh, mentalities. You know what I'm talking about. So I decided to leave and I landed in Berlin and it's a nice city. It's a good city for me. And I'm happy I found uh, people alike, like Born a Rebel, and I can play now music here. That's nice. Okay, so from, I'm going to ask Tim from his perspective. So did you know much about Lebanon and about the metal scene there, for example? Or did you learn that about no, that from Marcus? <laughs> it's a good question, but I try to answer that. Actually, I didn't know, but, um, you know, Marcus told a little bit about it. And um, yeah, uh, you know, actually, when, when, you, when you try to ask us if we want to play there, sure, we would, you know, we would right now and... Um, but you know, we we have to have to plan things, and then maybe this is possible sometime to to go there. And um, it's you know, if you, if it if you just talk about the country, it's you have to go there, you know, to see what what it's like. So I'm I'm gonna ask kind of the same question, but in a kind of a silly way. But did, did you expect that uh, a professional camel rider would have learned to play drums and listen to metal? Again, what? <laughs> I'm just talking about no, the stereotype. <laughs> okay. So, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you expected that. But it's possible. We wouldn't expect in the Middle East there'll be people listening to metal, professional musicians with good, good experience and a good technical play. Uh, but sure, why not? It's, it's you know, uh, good people are everywhere, you know, uh, even the, you know, locations where you, where you don't expect to be. Um, yeah so I, okay, yeah go ahead I think he, was, he was trying to show you the 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 typical uh look of, of a person coming from an arab world that is sitting on a camel in a desert know, yeah. sleeping in a tent but the cliche but yeah. uh, and and i also have been uh talked with people they don't know where Lebanon is, you know, and they think yeah. Lebanon is just another desert, but it's it's not really. It's it's a green, blue, nice place. Yeah, so not to talk too much about this, but by us being forced to go to other countries and continue our life there, we're now somehow introducing those countries to where we came from and what we do there. Um, I wanted to ask also, um, when, when you joined the band, you were a drummer, you joined Tim on his band, and there was someone else who was playing drums, and then you came in with your own style and with your own kit, maybe. How did that influence the sound there? Would, where would that take the band next? If you are, you know, you're two people coming from a different project, how would that influence what's coming next with, from the band releases, mostly? Um, well, um, of course, every drummer and musician has his style, but what I try to do is try to play the, the songs that are originally made as much as possible the same. Of course, I would put just a little bit my touch there, here and there, but in the new music that's coming, I'm really putting uh, much of what I know in there and my taste and, and my stuff. But I try to keep the old EP, the, the like the five songs that there's already there, mm -hmm. just try to keep them the same. It's really interesting because uh, you know the, the band is uh, you know coming from from all all different places of the world or, or the globe actually and you know from Thailand from 
you know, you're from Lebanon. You, I think your father is coming from Greece, yeah. and yeah. and uh, Ben is coming from from Australia, and and and, and Song from Thailand, and, and I'm from Germany. So, so that's you know, we there are different people in the room, you know, with uh, different backgrounds, and it all influences the music and the new songs actually, because the old songs, you know, they are already there. But mm -hmm. that's kind of really interesting. So b before we talk about more about what, what would be the new songs, so you already have an EP released, and that's a self-titled, Born the Rebel is the name of the EP also, right? Yep. Okay, that's a five-track. Uh, and and um, and then you had in this year, or uh, end of 2020, there's a single, Freedom. When was that released? I guess it was in, in July. Okay, so was that single supposed to be later uh, connected to an album, or was it just a single on its own? Well, actually, we wanted to to do uh, all of these songs on one album, so it was mm -hmm. just the EP was just like a teaser for the album, actually. So mm -hmm. we, I don't know, but you know, we we haven't talked about this really yet. But the the best thing would be to have all on al one album and just add like five songs more or something. So and yeah, that would be the, maybe the aim to have it, you know, all the the new album ready in in spring or the latest in, in summer. Okay, so so at the moment, you're, from the recording perspective, you're already working on the rest of the tracks to have a complete album, and you will re-record all of it, I assume, and do a, a new fresh mix on the previous tracks? Well, we're thinking about that, but um, well, just right now, we're recording the other uh, new songs, they are already there, and okay. um, and everybody's given a little bit, you know, of his touch uh, in it, and um, so this is what we're working right now on it, and um, yeah, and hopefully it will be finished in like spring or, or uh, summer, and and I don't know if we if we if we really go over the old tracks again. So from, we, from... but we will have remixes though. Okay. Oh. From my perspective, I, I so far really loved all the tracks, so I gave it a listen like several times on, on kind of a repeat on Spotify. And I noticed that you do have the title New Metal, you do have the elements of New Metal, but you have a lot of me melodic uh, lines, you have a lot of bass lines, you have a, different vocal styles, you, you don't actually follow one single style, you have a mix. And now, as you've said, when you have people from different countries, you'll have more of that influence with the music at least, right? That's true. You know, actually, the the you know even the the name crossover or or new metal is like misleading a little bit maybe, but it's actually a fusion style. You know, mm -hmm. you you're mixing like rap with with metal or, or or rock or hard rock, and then you have like, um, yeah, we have like melody parts in the chorus and which which sound a little bit like grunge. You know, mm -hmm. like grunge vocals and stuff. So and. You know, even if you think of, of, of bands like P.U.D., what they did, they, they even brought in like some kind of um, reggae style. And so, mm -hmm. so it's actually really a fusion style. So and, and, and that's that's a really interesting thing to do that because we are not stick to to just one one style. And it's and it's yeah. More open. And so, yeah, yeah, also, yeah. it is more definitely more interesting when you have kind of a fusion, kind of an experimental, trying new things, trying new sounds. And mixing the best of each and, and a very good track. So uh, I really like your music. I really enjoyed what I've listened to and I'm really excited to hear more. So I'll be waiting for the album. And you said that will be coming around April, right? I don't no, know. No, April. Thank you. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, we, we are working on it and, and uh, we got a little bit more time now because it's Corona time, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, cannot play any gigs right now. But um, yeah, uh, and we we try to, to to finish them as soon as possible, and m maybe we you know the earliest maybe it's in yeah in spring yeah April summer summer spring summer spring summer some, okay. some, something like that. But we yeah. also recorded um, uh, just uh, have finished the uh, recording of a new uh, music video. We already did two uh, videos mm -hmm. that, uh, to, for the songs "Man of Creed" and "Sabotage," but now we did it for. The song "Power to the People." That's what we are talking about, and um, yeah, and um, this will going to be released in, in in probably in this month in January. 
Okay, end of, so, end of January, soon. very soon. Great. So there's there will be more to see. So I'll be waiting for that, and I'll definitely be sharing the links for that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the videos that you've already published, I'll be adding them to this video. I'll be adding a section of them and in the in the description also, so people can find your videos and watch all your music. <laughs> Um, so we know that for for when it comes to recording, everything's on track. There's kind of a timeline for it. When it comes to live performance, so tell me about your past live performance and what's coming next. Well, we did a lot of shows here in Berlin and in other um, cities of Germany. We didn't go abroad. We we didn't play, uh, you know, uh, in another country yet. But we we hope to do that, you know, because right now we got uh, like. As I said, like like you know, a lot of members from different countries, and now we got the opportunity to to uh, you know to play more gigs outside of this country because we have the community there then, and um, yeah, but we will see. Right now, we cannot really plan because uh, because of Corona. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably every band uh, telling you right now if you're yeah. <laughs> doing these interviews. Um, that's the bad thing about that. But yeah, as soon as possible, we 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 will go. And the only gig for this year we 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 have you know safe is like uh, the it's you know it's a rock treff festival in um, in Berlin. Yeah, it's a pretty old um, metal rock festival, and uh, we are one of sixteen bands who will be playing there. Okay, that's great. So I actually read that they would usually select out of 200 bands and you're one of the selected bands. So that's that, cool. that for sure proves that you are one of the good bands to be on a big event on a live stage. So yeah, yeah. I, I hope I, I will be there. I'll try my best to be there and attend it live. Hope um, to see you, man. Yeah, I hope to see that, you. That'd be great. Uh, so at, at the end of this, I'm going to ask you, like, do, do you have a message to the people watching us? Do you want to say something to the people watching this video? Do you want to go ahead and... I haven't thought of that one, but I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll try to tell people to, uh, to, to, to listen to more music that has a meaning. Um, to listen to more music that can make them feel good and, and uh, look at this beautiful earth in a different way. And I would also like to add to the people in Lebanon and Beirut, just hang on in there and... Um, uh, do your best, just stay together as a community and together you can stand, but when you divide, you will fall. So that the typical uh, cliche sentence. And that's that's main, mainly it, just stay healthy um, and good luck. And support metal music. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, thank you for, for this, uh, guys. I wish you all the luck and I'll be waiting for the new music and everything new from the band. Thank you. Thank, you very, thank you very much, man.